back to my channel. Uh, today's video um, is another review and um, the only reason I'm doing a review on this particular product is because I've been hearing so many things about it on Instagram. So many people talking about it. Um, people saying good things and bad things about it and I want to test it out I want to try it out it's a drugstore foundation it is the Rimmel London's uh, stay matte liquid mousse foundation so here it is I got it in 203 uh, true beige I believe I've been hearing a lot of people rave about it on YouTube and on um, Instagram so I really wanted to go out to the store buy it and try it out I mean the whole rave about this is that the whole stay matte it's a shine control uh, foundation so I really don't purchase a lot of drugstore foundations not because I only like high-end no it's not that it's because it is so hard for me to match my skin tone to a shade at the store because as you guys all know there is tons of of shades out there at the drugstores so it's so hard to find the right uh, shade for me and I hate like standing there and looking and see if it matches or if it doesn't match I mean I just hate that so that's probably why I really don't purchase a lot of uh, drugstore foundations but not because I don't want to and because oh my gosh I only get high-end stuff no not at all it's not that it's just the whole shade you know finding it and looking for it and having the patience and I don't have it so I just rather go to a counter and have them match me but anyways the good thing and bad thing about the Rimmel London um, foundation um, is that they only have eight shades I say good because for girls like me that can never find the right shade at the drugstore um, or don't have patience and looking I mean it eight it goes down to eight so you're obviously gonna kind of find your shade and bad because there's a lot of people out there that love shopping at the drugstores for foundations so obviously they need more of a, a variety so you know it, it's kind of it's kind of easier when there's a lot more shades out there but for me it's so much simpler when there's a, only a couple of shades out there because I kind of could try to match with my skin tone and with this one I definitely hit it out of the ballpark because it definitely matches me to the T it's perfect so that right there great uh, I found the right uh, match for me so that was kind of exciting and I mean it's only five dollars and forty nine cents I got it at Walgreens so that is a pretty darn good price for a foundation um, like I said this is a Rimmel, uh, Rimmel London stay matte um, liquid mouse um, why did I say mouse? Uh, it is the Liquid Mousse Foundation. Get it right, Wendy. Get it right. Okay. Anyways, um, I love this foundation. Um, I don't hate it at all. I love it. It's definitely a keeper in my opinion for myself. Um, I'm loving this. I will repurchase this again. And I'm going to tell you guys why I'm going to repurchase it again. I have oily skin. So... Obviously, the first thing that caught my eye is Stay Matte. Um, it's a lightweight and it's shine control. Bang, shine control. That's what got me to get it. Um, besides everybody talking about it, I mean, I, I saw shine control. I was like, ooh, let me try this out. I definitely need that in my life. I have oily skin, as I've already told you guys millions of times. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. And with not a lot of shades to pick from or choose from, this one was just right for me. So anyways, it has no scent. At least I don't smell any scent to it. So that's, I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, it is, um, in my opinion, I think it's medium coverage. And it's definitely not buildable, okay, guys? So don't try to build it up because, wait, build it up? So just don't try to build it um, because it's going to look very, very cakey on you. And you do not want that. This foundation is pretty heavy. It feels very heavy. It, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a mousse foundation, but it does feel pretty heavy. Now, don't use a brush. At least that's my personal recommendation to you guys or a little tip. Don't use a brush. Use your fingers for this type of foundation. Any type of mousse foundation, use your fingers. It will blend so much better than with a brush. Okay, so again, it is not buildable. So don't even try it. You can try, but it's just not going to look right. Um, 
it like I said it's a medium coverage I do not recommend it for people that have dry skin and I'll tell you guys why the first day that I put this on it was it was fine I, I used to um, I used to brush it the, at first it didn't I didn't like the way it blended so then I used my fingers for it perfectly now I realized that I had a little patch of um, like dryness on my skin so you know I, I didn't really think too much of it I applied my um, the foundation and I realized that the foundation emphasized that patch that dry patch so it just didn't look right and throughout the day I thought okay maybe it's gonna you know it's gonna set in it's it's gonna go away well no it did not it just like I said it emphasized that dry spot on my skin and I didn't like that so that's a really that's a, a downside to it I like I said I don't recommend it for for people that have dry skin because it will emphasize all that dryness now um, I loved that I didn't have to prime my face uh, obviously with a primer I just moisturized my face let my moisturizer sit in and then I used this and I I mean I like I said I did not have to um, prime my face so that was that's a really good thing I mean less products better so it didn't really emphasize my pores either so that was really that's a really good thing about this um, it does feel like a powdery foundation so I definitely do not recommend setting this foundation uh, with a powder uh, there's really no need to set it because like I said it sets to like a powdery finish at least that's how I feel and um, it, it just if you apply a powder afterwards believe me gals it, you're gonna look very extremely cakey and you do not want that no nobody likes that you don't want to look cakey you don't want to feel cakey um, like I said it does feel a little a little heavy but it it's not that bad I mean I've heard a lot of girls saying that it's it's bad that they don't like it I mean I I that's their personal opinion that's fine I respect them but in my opinion it doesn't feel that cakey it does feel heavy but not to an extreme the way I've heard certain people talk about it um I mean pretty much um that's that's it guys I mean I don't really have nothing extremely bad to say about it but just really good things about it like I said the only downside is that it does emphasize dryness on the face so yeah I mean that's the only downside but this is definitely a keeper for me I'm definitely gonna repurchase this and I am in love with this foundation I'm not just gonna push it to the side in my drawer and like some other foundations that um, I have in there so yeah I'm definitely keeping this I'm definitely gonna repurchase it and it's an amazing product I believe for Rimmel London I mean it's great and it's so inexpensive so I give it a two thumbs up um, uh, for this um liquid mousse foundation from Rima London so that's pretty much it guys um, that's the whole review I am trying to make it short and sweet so you guys can kind of get the feeling of the foundation that's it guys there's nothing else I can say about this amazing foundation if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me down below and if you guys like the video please thumbs it up and I will see you guys in my next video bye